So Elizabeth May shows up at the Island Farms Victoria Day Parade in BC. Now, if you were the leader of the Green Party, uh, what sort of vehicle would you like to be seated in as you go down the parade route? Well, I think if you are Elizabeth May, it might be something like this. This is the car that loves to have fun. A car, a hybrid, the future to some. Once upon a time, I was the only one. Lucky for us, there was more to come. Let's hum, 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 let's hum. Now everyone can hum. The perfect match, electric and gas. Mile after mile, it's tank to last. We made three more for all to use. Ah yes, the unofficial set of wheels for the green movement, a Toyota Prius, extra points if you've got the plug-in version. A Prius means you are one with nature after all, reducing your carbon footprint as you make a beeline to the nearest Starbucks to bemoan the latest social injustice on your laptop as you sip your triple vente soy no foam sugar free latte with caramel drizzle. But Lady Liz wasn't ensconced within a plug-in hybrid for Victoria Day. Oh no, this was her ride of choice. Wow, could Fiat Chrysler even produce an ad like that today? Let's see now, in addition to a piss and vinegar muscle car sporting an 8.4 liter V10 engine, producing some 645 horsepower and 600 pounds of torque, we have copious quantities of sexism and toxic masculinity and alas even a lack of diversity hey this just in folks upon viewing this ad climate barbie just fainted mayday mayday is there a doctor in the house but back to miss may herself predictably there was a huge social media outcry about the green guru kicking asphalt in a dodge viper but how is she so out of touch and clueless not to realize how brutal the optics were here. Did she not consider that riding in a candy apple red Dodge Viper in a public parade, waving to the great unwashed masses a la Marie Antoinette, kind of made her look like a hypocrite to the nth degree? Amazing. Indeed, she certainly does not practice what she preaches. Three years ago, May dropped by Toronto radio station CFRB to preach the green gospel. Here is what she said verbatim, quote, There are two things we have to get rid of in this world. One is burning coal for electricity and the other is the internal combustion engine. What we're already seeing in British Columbia because we've had a carbon tax for a number of years. If you look around the streets, every other car is a Prius. And the people who own the Priuses want to get themselves a leaf, end quote. Uh, Every other car in BC is a Prius, according to May, eh? Really? In other words, 50% of the vehicles on the roads of Vancouver and Victoria and Chilliwack are Toyota Priuses? Well, after she said that, I contacted Dennis DeRossier of DeRossier Automotive Consultants to find out what the real numbers are. And here they are, folks. When May made the statement, there were precisely 3,415,708 vehicles in the province of British Columbia. Of that number, 12,596 were hybrid Toyota Priuses. Do the math. 
Prius has made up 0.37% of BC's total vehicle inventory. 0.37%. Not 50%, not even half of a percent. Oh, and as for the all-electric Nissan Leaf that May says many Prius owners covet, well, check this out. At the time, there were a grand total of 328 Leafs in the entire province of British Columbia. 328. In other words, Leafs made up 0.0096% of the total BC vehicle inventory. So not only is she a hypocrite, she's a liar too. She's no different from Al Gore and David Suzuki and other missionaries of the Green Church who preach the gospel of do as I say, not as I do, when it comes to their own carbon footprints. But there is indeed one silver lining to be found here. At least Elizabeth May wasn't driving the Viper. I mean, check out this footage from 2015 and ask yourself if this is the sort of person you'd want to be behind the wheel of anything on the road. Thanks to a few of the boys, I get to be in the debates. Yes, it will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I am happy to say we are all equal and we get to participate as equals. So that's that on that. This morning I woke up thinking this. Why am I thinking this? Do you guys wonder? Please, hang on. Wait, you know what? Do you guys remember the theme song? Welcome back. Who knew Cotter was spelled K-H-A-D-R. Welcome back. Omer Cotter. Does it strike you? I didn't put my time. No, you didn't. There's a lot unusual about your speech, Liz, but we're going to take off. Oh my God, get that terrorist-loving drunken hag off the stage already. And seriously, if anyone out there is truly thinking about casting a vote for Canada's Green Party in October, please see a psychiatrist. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.